hey, it's quite obvious that a lot of people are really scared to get into tech. And when you ask them why, they say, I cannot code and I'm not good in programming. Although technical jobs rule the industry, little did you know that the tech sector hosts non-coding IT jobs as well. Let's look at Google for example, biggest tech company in the world. But you have people working there as marketers, growth hackers, public relations content creators, etc. Fine, we understand that programming is an asset in the tech industry. But if you lack programming skill, you don't need to worry. So today I'm bringing to you the top 10 non-coding tech jobs in 2023. You need to get into the tech industry because the IT sector has been generating increased revenue in the last couple of years and has become one of the fastest growing sector in the UK. No, not in the UK, in the world. <laughs> like the video and subscribe to the channel. Let's get into this video. So the first one on my list is digital marketing. Digital marketing is just the practice of, uh, let's say, promoting products and services using the various digital channels that we have today. It can be email marketing, search engine, social media platform, mobile apps, and a website. This covers various online marketing strategies, and your key point is to reach and engage with a target audience. So the common digital marketing strategies include the search engine optimization, where you kind of optimize website and content to rank higher in search engine result pages. We also have pay per click, uh, that is advertising, where you are paying to place ads on search engine result pages and other websites. Also, social media marketing using social media platform like Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, to engage and promote product to your audience. Email marketing as well, where you can send targeted emails to subscribers or people that you want to view or have a look at your product. Content marketing is also a good one where you can produce valuable content. And this content can attract and retain a clearly defined audience for you. So the basic skills that you just need is a basic understanding of web design. You also have knowledge of search engine and social media platform, Facebook, TikTok, and also YouTube. You might also need to understand Google Analytics, very, very important. The national average salary for a digital marketer is up to $65,000. The second on my list is a cloud architect. Now a lot of companies are moving their infrastructure to the cloud. Everything is going to the cloud now. So likewise, there's going to be a need for cloud architects. People who can design, implement, and kind of manage the cloud for different companies. As a cloud architect, you don't need programming knowledge. All you need is just simple cloud basic terminologies and services, such as infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, software as a service. You also need to familiarize with some of the cloud service providers such as Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure, and Google Cloud Platform. Your key responsibilities will be to design cloud architecture solutions for businesses, ensure security compliance in the cloud, and maybe work with stakeholders to implement and identify new cloud-based terminologies. National average salary for a cloud architect is up to 116,000 US dollars per annum. The third on my list is the data analyst. A data analyst is a professional who works with a large set of data to extract insight and identify patterns. They use various statistical and analytical tools to organize, clean, and analyze data and then present their findings in a clear and concise manner. Your typical work will be to collect and interpret large amount of data. In today's world, we are generating trillions, trillions of data. So there's a need for these professionals, people that can analyze all these data we are collecting. You also need to understand how to clean and process data by removing errors and inconsistencies. You also need to understand the use of statistical method and software because this is what you'll be using to do your work. Then if you can get your data right, then you'll be able to identify patterns and trends from this data. You can arrange the data into a readable form or you can come up with a graphical understanding of the data so that anybody that can look at maybe a graph or a diagram can understand what your data is all about or what it portrays. The skills that you need is knowledge of statistics, 
you understand econometrics, familiarize with statistical packages like SPSS, SAS, Microsoft Excel, and dataset analysis. You have to be proficient in data models and data mining techniques. Knowledge of Tableau, click view, Power BI, and Data Studio. Familiarize yourself with Hadoop, Apache Spark, and other platforms. The national average salary of a data analyst is up to $70,000 per annum. The photo mileage is a Scrum Master. A Scrum master is a facilitator, a coach, a leader, responsible for ensuring that the Scrum team follows the Agile Scrum methodology effectively. The Scrum master's primary objective is to help the team achieve its goal and deliver high quality product. Believe me, this is one of the best non-coding IT jobs in the tech industry. Your key responsibilities will be to coach the entire team on Agile principles. You also need to adopt practices that increase the productivity of the team, lead the daily standards ups and meetings. The basic skills that you need will be kind of a communication skills, understanding how to lead a meeting, how to lead a team, you understand reviews, coaching skills as well. You also need to understand how to organize a team and bring people together. Learn about negotiation skills, basic scrum values, practices, and principles. This is one of the underrated non-coding IT jobs. People don't know these guys earn a lot. They earn up to 120,000 US dollars per annum. And lastly, you need to write some certification to become a full registered scrum master. Number five on my list is IT business analyst. As an IT business analyst, you need to determine the requirement of processes and tools for business completion. These guys analyze business data, they identify areas for improvement, and they kind of reach out to management to say, okay, this is what we find from our data, and this is the projection that we would like the company to go. You do not require any programming or coding knowledge in this area. Most of the tools that they use are just simple surveys, email surveys, interviews. It can be video or audio interviews and they also try as much as possible to understand data modeling. Business analysts work hand in hand with data analysts to guide businesses by enhancing their processes, service, product, and software. They create an in-depth analysis of the companies, outline the problems, and provide solutions. They actively participate in budgeting, planning, forecasting, monitoring, and reporting. In addition to technical skills, business analysts need to have strong communication and interpersonal skills to work effectively with stakeholders across the organization. They also need to have good understanding of business principles and practices, as well as knowledge of the industry they work in. The basic skills for this role is analytical and critical thinking. Communication negotiation skill. You also need to understand knowledge of database and SQL. The national average salary for this role is $85,000 per annum. And that takes us to number six, project manager. This is one of the most reputable non coding IT jobs in the field. Project managers are tasked with planning project, execution of the project, and completion of the projects. They also monitor and control the project that they are embarking on. Project managers oversee all aspects of the project, including setting project scope, identifying tasks, assigning responsibilities, setting timelines, and budget management. They work closely with project stakeholders, including client team members and vendors to ensure project goals are met. As a project manager, you must possess strong leadership skills. Communication skills is very important as well, and organization skills. I think these non-coding IT jobs, these are just the basic thing that someone needs to upgrade himself. You need all these leadership skills, analytical skills, critical thinking, communication. These are the things that you need, and you will smash it. As a project manager, you must also have experience in risk management, problem solving, and decision making, because you are in charge of the project, you need to decide. Everything is on your shoulder. The national average salary of a project manager is 85,000 US dollars per annum. And number seven on my list is quality assurance tester. A lot of people don't know this rule. A quality assurance tester is responsible for ensuring that a product or software application meets the required quality standard before it is released to the market or maybe you're giving it to your client. Their main job is to test and identify any error loopholes, issues, or defects in the product's application or software. And the moment you observe any bug or errors, you report it to the development team because they are the ones that will be able to make correction. 
So their basic responsibilities is to ensure the end product is of high quality. These guys conduct so many tests and this can be functional testing, integration testing, performance testing, usability testing, etc. They also try to analyze the system specification. They execute test scripts. They evaluate the product code as per the requirement. And they report errors and bugs to the development team, like I said. Basic experience is quality test methodology, profound knowledge of project management and they also need to expertise themselves in agile frameworks and regression testing. Basic skills is understanding of web terminologies, basic knowledge of HTML, CSS and JavaScript. They also need to understand knowledge of software development cycle and lastly fluency in different software platforms. The national average salary is $96,000 per annum. And at number nine we have a technical writer. A technical writer is a professional professional who specializes in creating technical documentation such as user manuals, installation guides, and technical reports. Technical writers use their knowledge of technical subjects to translate complex information into clear and concise language that can be easily understood by a non-technical audience. Technical writers work with a range of stakeholders including developers, engineers, product managers, and subject matter experts. All they do is to gather information and to ensure that documentation accurately reflects the technical information that it describes. They may also use diagrams, graphics, and other visual aids to help communicate technical concepts to readers. Let's say, for instance, you are downloading or running a software and you see the terms and conditions. All those write up, the laws, the policies, agreements, all the terms and conditions, these are the works of technical writers. Technical writers must have strong writing skills. They also need to have knowledge of technical subjects, ability to research. If you cannot research, you cannot understand complex technical subjects, talk less of putting them into papers. Their key role is making all this technical information accessible to a wider audience, helping users to effectively and efficiently use products and services in a range of industries. And the last on my list is the IT sales executive or IT consultants. As an IT sales executive, your key responsibility is to sell technology solutions and services to clients. They work with a range of clients from small businesses to large enterprises to identify their technology needs and provide solutions that meet their specific requirements. IT sales executives may work for technology vendors, resellers, or system integrators. To be successful in this role, you must understand the technology that you are selling. You must research the company that you are working for and lastly you must understand their competitors because if you don't understand their competitors you will not know how to sell your products you also need to understand the needs and challenges of your client they must also understand strong communication and negotiation skills i think this is one of the key non-tech it jobs that you do a lot of negotiation as an it sales executive you'll be responsible for building relationship with your client and closing sales IT consultant on the other side are professional who provide expert advice and guidance to clients on a range of technology related issues. They may work for consulting firms or as independent consultants and their services may include technology strategy development system implementation and process improvement just like the it sales executive it consultant also need to understand the technology that they are trying to sell they have to be able to provide clients and customers with advice and guidance on how to use the product or maybe how to achieve their business goals and objectives through these products strong communication and interpersonal skills is also very important in this role because you are speaking with leaders of industry founders developers business owners etc the national average salary for this role is hundred thousand US dollars per annum. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. Let me know what you think about these top 10 key roles, key non-coding tech jobs. Let me know in the comment section what you think about them. And uh, if you have not yet subscribed, do well to hit the subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next one.